Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, But Under Mind. This is Neha Alam and today we're going to speak about bar equipments. As in my previous video, we have already spoke about the bar spoon. You can check on uh, in IGTV, Instagram, But Under Mind, the history of bar spoon, the difference between the bar spoons and different type of bar spoon, the usage of bar spoon, how, how the purpose of invention of bar spoon back then, and what what year what century it been invented as well as uh, the short versus long bar spoons the usage and other things as well so you can check out that check out on my last video in IGTV. Right. so i hope you guys are fine safe from covid 19 so today we're gonna start with the cocktail shaker so the history of Cocktail shaker is very controversial, not as controversial as jigger, but yes, it is a little bit controversial. So back then in 7000 BCE, it was invented. There wasn't used any kind of metal or any kind of other things were used. They used to use a vegetable, god vegetable, where they used to pour the drinks, mix the drink and shake it up. So that's in 1700 BC. BCE. So, well then in 1520 century what happened the actual cocktail shaker were introduced so first one was the french cocktail shaker was introduced then slowly slowly after that the rest of other things were introduced as well so here it is i will start with this one this is called boosting shaker so basically it's a two glasses so one is smaller one is the taller so what happens we fix them together to each other to shake it well to shake the drink so that's what it is the two type of glasses so for this we use a hot roast strainer or the strainer then whenever we pour it over drink or whenever we stain it right so this is our first strainer so i don't have other ones right now that's why i started with this but i can give you a clear visualization with these only I ordered this because I like them. <laughs> well, so uh, the second one we can say, sorry, the second one we can say that it is a cobbler shaker. We can speak about the cobbler shaker. So basically, the cobbler shakers come with a glass. It was the last shaker was invented. It it is very commonly found in the bar nowadays. This one and boosting shaker, not anymore the French shaker. So what happens? Uh, there's a glass, there is a top with the stainer in it, so there's a little top in it. I will be posting a picture at the back of the video or I have already posted the uh, pictures in the Instagram, uh, the different type of shakers. So you can have a look on that. Well, I will be posting it up as well. So they got a stainer on the top and the cap. So that's a very basic and a big cocktail shaker. You can just mix your drink, pour it and just shake it. You don't need a extra hot roast stainer or julia stainer or mash where you have to pour it on the drink so you can just do it with the cap and the stainer so it's good to go so that's our second type of cocktail shaker which is a cobbler shaker so the third one is a french shaker so still i don't know how don't have that as well but i'm going to tell you about that as well that is also comes with the cover but not with the glass it's a it's like a short cover and uh, dome kind of structure and then the uh, one kind of thing but there is no stainer in it it's just like the cobbler shaker but as the cobbler shaker have a three part and the cap and the stainer in the uh, second part right but in french cocktail shaker we don't have that there is no stainer in in building stainer in the cocktail uh, glass so that is a that is a third type of it so for that also we need our ultra stainer and julep stainers well so this is our cocktail shakers okay i will give you the tip about how to shake them so remember that whenever you do the shake the major tip i will give you so you pour the eyes for the pour the liquid so one thing i will tell you that whenever you make your drink first start with the cheap things or cheap ingredient for example cheap and less expensive than other so for example if you're making a sar so a rum sar a whiskey sar not a rum sour that should be a daiquiri 
So a whiskey sour. So first, add your lime juice, sugar, then your whiskey. If you're making your whiskey sour, at last, the expensive thing should be go at last, right? Because if you do any mistake or there's a disbalance of ingredient, you can, you know change it or modify it but once the expensive thing goes the inventory disbalance the inventory become difficult it's just not difficult it's a wastage as well the most for most expensive thing of course mistakes happen don't worry about that but still th that's uh, that's the trick then you add your ingredient put your eyes shut this down right for ingredient eyes top, top this up okay Whenever we shake, everyone have their own style of shaking, right? But you have to be, be very careful with these ones because as it can open very easily. Well, uh, even with the other ones as well, you have to always have to hold the top. So, whenever you shake, remember if the guest is sitting in front of you, do not shake towards them. Okay, do not do that. If a mishap happen, it will be the drink will fall on you, not on them. So. Be careful you have to take it on you only so well whenever you shake a bottle everyone have their own style so hold it hold the drink or glass well right hold it from the bottom this one and then put your thumb here to the big one two fingers to right this one. then you can give it a shake okay right give it a shake give it a shake give it a good shake or you can put if for more if you three fingers here and one finger thumb at the back so give it a shake then carefully open give it a tap tap if it is not opening open check take your hot straw stainer or your stainer stain it over your drink so everyone have their own style some like do this some like do this uh, i will never t uh, tell you to do double shake with, with this cocktail shaker Yes, if you are a very much expert or professional, go for it. I own mine. But yes, but not with this. Use cobbler shaker instead. So, give it a shake. Give it your style. Dance around. So, it's all about that. I don't have any liquid, by the way, in ice for now. But I hope I get some ingredient. I don't have any right now. Of course, because of the sh uh, situation. I hope things get better soon. So, this is all about our cocktail shaker. Then... We will talk about our jigger. The when I googled about the history, I looked into the history. It's very controversial. Controversial in the sense that there are a lot of histories, different stories about it. So the very uh, near attribute I found that it says that there was a guy in a navy. So what they did, they put a name of that guy, guy jigger, jigger master. Jigger master, jigger master, because he used to give them a daily ration of alcohol. So they used to call him jigger master. So that's a one attribute uh, for that story. So back then in British Navy, the guy they used to drink, and the, the guy who sh who sh who served the Navy guy provided the ration. They used to call him a jigger master. So from there, the jigger has come, the portioning of alcohol. So the jigger, this is the jigger as you can see in my hand so we got two major kind of jiggers single jigger and double jigger this is a double jigger single jigger you will not get the bottom you will only get the top right there will be a different different ohms of marking in there so 0 0.25 0 0.75 0 0.75 one ounce then go on until two ounces it can go like this or maybe just a one ounce one ounce of jigger but normally the single jigger have to be two ounces so this is a double jigger this is uh, our two ounce and one ounce one so here it's called 60 and 30 ml because one ounce we count roughly as a 30 ml so this is our one ounce and this is our two ounce this is basically a japanese jigger they use they call it japanese jigger and that this is the you know shape of a japanese jigger so we got a lot of other jiggers as well in the market oxo jigger there's a different style the bell jigger a lot of other things as well but basic type of jiggers are only two which is the single jigger and the double jigger so here it is the double jigger 
Now, our third thing is the stainer. So, basically, we can find three kind of stainers in the bar. This is our Holtro stainer. It is Holtro, so it's what happened, what it does that you can fit in your coffee shaker and pour the drink, right? This is a Holtro stainer. Uh, it has a spring here. Okay. I have a spring here, so you can see that here. So it stops the any kind of seeds or any kind of if you're making a fruit punch or anything with the fresh fruit matched. So it will stop here. So it is a it's called hulk fruit you know? Then we got a julep stain. I don't have that, but it's more like a, a perforated spoon, but in a smaller size. Well, the 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 face is like a perforated spoon. So well, you can see it here dot dotted like a perforated uh, spoon but in a shape of strainer so actually what they do so i don't have the proper tool to show you but it goes inside the glass not like a whole proof stoner goes inside the glass and then you pour it over so they said that's the best one actually it depends upon you i really like this one as well as compared to the uh, julia stainer so it goes in it's good for your martinis, stir martinis and other things, right? <coughs> then, this is, then we got a mash. So, mash doesn't exactly on the glass or hold the glass. So, it's basically used for double staining. Uh, for, you know, leftover chips and anything, his left, making a clear fried drink. We don't want anything here, we don't want any more liquid in it or any more ice in it so it goes on the top of the glass then we put the whole show at the julep and then we do it that's basically used for uh, used for a double stain it's basically look like the one we stain D. it's exactly like that it's called match with the handle same like that i will be posting the picture at the end as well so this is what our basic equipments i'm available with i have told you there are some more as well so uh, the last one i'll tell you this Pourer. So this is a basic pourer with the rubber stopper here and the basic pourer. So I will show you how it works as well. So it is. I don't have any other bottle which can fix in it. Well, so it's the only one. So here it is. You can do it. Do it like this. Pour it. Measure. And it's very convenient. Trust me, guys. To be very very honest, it's very convenient. Uh, if you're working in a busy, even if you're not working in a busy bar, working in a busy bar, you should always have these pourers with you. Uh, while with the pouring brand, it's easy to use, very comfortable. It's the blessing, I believe, if you have a pourer in a bottle. That's what I believe, honestly. It's a very common thing, you should have it. If you're working in a, anywhere, the pouring brand should have a pourer in it. It makes you work very easy. But, this is the one, even we got the other ones as well, which is made by uh, plastics. These ones are good as well. That is also good. Then we got the wine pourers and wine stoppers as well. I will be posting pictures as well at the end, so you can have a look. Then we got other things like our bar mats, uh, basic bar mat for drinks to serve on it or spillage. Anything can happen, so it's like we can put it in the bar and it's good to go. Plus, we got our pressure machine to make crushed ice and ice machines, a lot of other things which is very important in the bar. So well, this is the basic bar equipments we got. And as I promised, we will talk about the wine opener as well. But I haven't received it yet. Uh, I have ordered it and it gets answered. I don't know my mistake. -ly. But I've been looking outside as things are a lot of things are not open right now so i'm not able to find it in the market a lot of things are open but not those wine shops with the wine opener so well i'm not able to get but i've already posted the different type of wine openers the different type of uh, you know from old to new even the electric ones are here right now and other things as well but we will do the proper description of it sooner or later as soon as i get that i don't have it with me right now i should have it but i don't have it the place i work i left it there i hope i get it soon oh well uh, so this is a basic bar equipment so next time either we will talk about the glasses or maybe i will post 
the pictures of glasses with their descriptions the major type of uh, glasses we use in the bar because these are the basic we should know uh, if you're working in the bar if you're working in a restaurant even anywhere in there can be you should know so we will discuss about that either the bar glasses or the glasses last words either we're gonna go on the ne next topic or we'll post i'll be posting a bit so let's see what i'm gonna do and see you guys see you until next time have a good day be safe and sound take care of yourself bye bye